got a breaking news story coming to you out of the Windows 10 Tech News and Reviews YouTube channel. My name is Data Pioneer Southeast, and I want to uh, pass this information on to everybody. Uh, this particular news story affects uh, predominantly people that live in Australia. I've got a good uh, friend, uh, Backyard Tech, is uh, a good mate of mine, and I wanted to make sure that he saw this article. Uh, I was alerted to this uh, particular uh, incident here coming out of Netcraft News from my email. And if I go to the website, here it is. Uh, and what it involves is malicious code being loaded uh, from S3, which is Amazon's uh, S3 server. Uh, let me go ahead and read the article here. It's uh, Netcraft, and the article is Uniqlo. Uh, and The Guardian, among thousands of sites, loading malicious code from S3. Uniqlo's website transmitted customers' credit card details to fraudsters for more than a week in May this year, following the addition of e-commerce skimming code. The injected JavaScript code was designed to silently skim the completed checkout form and send a copy of the customer's details to the fraudsters. Thousands of uh, more sites have also been compromised in recent months via the same underlying vulnerability that allowed fraudsters, fraudsters to alter the behavior of the Uniqlo website. Unsecured Amazon S3 buckets. The fraudsters took a shotgun approach to compromising as many files as possible. They got lucky with a bucket com uh, containing JavaScript files used on Uniqlo's site one of the most visited shopping sites on the internet. Now, if you click on this link right here, it will take you to the home page of the shopping site at Uniqlo. And as I mentioned earlier, this is an Australian shopping website. So uh, if Old Mate or anybody who lives in Australia or has a uh, better half uh, goes up on this website and shops and their credit card information details are up here, they could very well be uh, victims of this particular story that I'm reporting to you. Let's go back to the uh, article itself and continue. Skimmer on Uniqlo's website. We detected that Uniqlo's Australian online shop was leaking customers' credit card details on the 18th of May, 2019. While the skimmer was active, a copy of any data that was entered during checkout process on Uniqlo's Australian site was silently sent to a drop site operated by the fraudsters. This includes customers' full credit card details, billing address, email, and phone number. So that's very important. Um, here's a picture or uh, an embed here of a pic of the checkout uh, portal for that particular website. E-commerce is responsible for nearly 10% of Uniqlo Japan's sales and Uniqlo's parent company, Fast Retailing Company is one of the world's largest and most successful retailers worth $62 billion U.S. Uniqlo is the most visited online shop on which uh, we have found a skimmer to date. This is the second attack to which Uniqlo has fallen victim in recent times. In May, it was announced 460,000 users of the shopping site have made or may have had their details stolen following a credential stuffing attack. The fraudsters altered the website's behavior by adding obfuscated JavaScript code to the all of the resources uh, Uniqlo's hosts within the S3 bucket, hoping that at least one would be loaded by the website. By deobfuscating the code, we can reveal the date it captured or the data, rather, it captured, and to where the stolen data was transmitted. So this is what the code looks like. This is code captured for every input of the page. All right, it's JavaScript code. Let me continue on. The code was designed to capture all of the data entered by a customer into the checkout form. Customers who checked out using PayPal would have not would not have uh, th had their credit card details stolen by the skimmer though their billing address and password would still have been vulnerable. Unlike the skimming code used in the attacks against Clior and British Airways, this JavaScript code is very generic and is designed to function on multiple websites without modification. 
It harvests all formed fields by looking for input, select, and text area elements within the JavaScript, whether or not they are part of a specific checkout form. At the time we discovered the attack, the last modified header from the infected JavaScript files within the S3 bucket suggested that they had been harboring malicious code for at least the 13th of May. Unique Australia, uh, Uniqlo Australia rather, was Uniqlo's only online shop that appeared to be affected by this attack. It alerted Uniqlo to the compromise and the malicious code was removed from the affected files on the 21st of May. All right, so I'm not going to read any more of this article. Uh, you can go read it for yourself. I'll leave a link down in below the video. Uh, this is serious, guys. Um, Netcraft, uh, it's nice of Netcraft to have this article up here uh, to let folks know that there's a problem. Uh, and as I said, I got this information from an email that I get. I, I subscribe to Netcraft. Typically, I look at Netcraft for statistics relating to um, hosting of websites and web browsers and web servers that are uh, operating worldwide. But occasionally, I will get a news article coming out of Netcraft, and this one is out of August 30th, uh, today, Friday, 2019, at least in the United States anyway. Uh, and so if you live in Australia and you used uh, Uniqlo's website in the month of May, uh, you might want to check your bank records to see if, uh, or your credit card statements, uh, because you may have been impacted, and hopefully your identity wasn't stolen. But this is serious, guys, uh, this malicious code, especially with a trusted source like Amazon's S3. Um, you know, how worse could it be? So I uh, just want to bring this to your attention and hope this uh, helps anyone who might be impacted. Please go check your records, check your bank records, check your credit card information, and hopefully uh, you weren't impacted. So this has been breaking news from the Windows 10 Tech News and Reviews. Data Pioneer Southeast signing off.